Hey, it's Ben from No Time to Game here. See, I'm a big fan of horror, so this spooky season is right up my alley. But well, being a turn-based tactics fan, a lot of the games are more fantasy and very political, and not really spooky or horror. Not even the genre itself doesn't really lend itself to that genre very well. I mean, you're not going to get any jump scares playing a turn-based tactics game. But that doesn't mean there aren't some tactics games out there that do have like a more mature plot or horror themed story to them. So let's have a look at five spooky or horror theme related turn-based tactics titles. First up we have Redemption Reapers. In February 2023, Binary Haze and Adglobe dropped the title Redemption Reapers, a dark fantasy turn-based tactics title. The armies of Mort, a conglomeration of sorts of twisted creatures straight out of the most of dark of fairy tales. This army so far has been unstoppable, leaving ruined nations and nothing but death and destruction behind them. But the Reapers, a small band of mercenaries, will step into the fray. And to poorly quote Batman, they may not be the heroes people want, but they are the heroes people need. Gameplay wise, it's pretty traditional, except due to such a small cast, it has a focus on teamwork with systems such as the follow-up attacks that mean you really have to work together or face a brutal death. Next up, we have Other Side. Other Side is a visually stark but stunning looking title from the French developers, The Lightbulb Crew, created in 2022 and it's on most systems. Other Side is a set in a grim world that's at its end with nightmare creatures known as the Suffering trying to bring about this end. But standing before them is mother whose only forces are her daughters the game is pretty standard in battle but follows a more roguelike style of progression with death being but a stepping stone and i mean just to make the game more grim if you want to heal one of your daughters you have to sacrifice another in all honesty though even without the themes the visuals give the game a real horror look to it with its dark black white and reds next we have devil survivor i'm going to cheat here a bit as i recommend the entire devil survivor series or if you go by its full name, Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Survivor, a spin-off from Atlas's Shin Megami Tensei series. We saw the first Devil Survivor on the DS back in 2009, with the second coming in 2011 in Japan and a bit later worldwide. They've even received 3DS remasters. Anyone who has taken part in the SMT series knows they're usually quite dark with the more mature themes overall, dealing with like end of days nonsense, death and all sorts of religious themes and Devil Survivor is no different apart from taking the series tactical though. the first Devil Survivor is set in modern day Tokyo following our protag and his friends as demons suddenly appear and start murdering everyone our dude discovers he has the ability to see when someone's going to die and so he must work with his buddies and hire demons to try and save as many of these people as possible I will say though if you are interested in these play the 3DS version Next we have Eternal Poison. Back in 2008, the PS2 was graced with Flight Plan's unique take on the tactical genre, Eternal Poison. An interesting game with an interesting setting. It's almost classical in its setting. The princess has been captured and the brave knights have been sent out to save her. But as well as knights, other people are attracted to the place in which the princess has been taken. The game is actually told from several different perspectives, giving it a lot of replay value and much like Devil Survivor earlier, we get to collect the margin. And what is more spooky than collecting demons? Last but not least, we have Monarch. In 2021, or 22, if like me you're not in Japan, <laughs> Fairview dropped their new game, Monarch, for most systems. Monarch is a strange beast. At first look, it, it seemed to be just another Persona clone. But looking a little bit deeper, there is something more and something a bit less. Shin Mikado Academy is having a rather unfortunate event happen. It has been concealed off from the world, and student teachers are going a bit crazy. So in steps our protag, who gains a little demon buddy, and must wield the power of his sin against the other sin users. Now, apart from every enemy in the game, it's a quite unique battle system, where they've dropped the grid in favour of a more open movement system, all these enemies being skeletons, <laughs> It doesn't seem to be that spooky until you get to the mature themes under the surface. And there's quite a bit of horror to that. Some dark stuff really happens. But anyway, I have a review on this if you're interested. So there you go. If you're a turn-based tactics fan, hopefully with these five games, you won't feel left out this season. 
If you can think of some more, please drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to sub and all that jazz. And see you again soon.